What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media and the title should speak for itself. If you are a pay to play player, then the brand new updated Pilaf's Trove beginner pack is 100% worth it. You should go pick it up right now. But for those of you who are a little bit, you know, unsure and need a little bit more convincing, let me go break it down for you right now. Let's go to Pilaf's Trove, check out what the beginner pack has in store for us. So before I jump into this, let me just say that I am usually 100% against people spending money on Pilaf's Trove because the packs are usually pretty garbage. Like the, the money, amount of money they're charging you versus what they're actually giving you is really, really crap. And you should not, should basically stay away from 99% of them. But this beginner's pack is one of those exceptions, okay? So let's go to the details. By the way, it's $13.99 for me in Canada. If you are in the US, it's only $9.99 or $10 which is a much better deal. The Canadian dollar is not doing so well, but we'll, we won't get into that. We won't get into that in this video. But anyways, details. You got a beginner, beginner ticket. So the beginner ticket in the past was not great. I remember you could just pick up like some SSR androids and the family Kamehameha uh, SSRs, which are like okay. They also get their Extreme Z Awakenings in the future, but that's pretty much it. It, was, it wasn't very exciting in terms of the units you could choose from, but they updated the ticket. So now you have a much bigger pool to choose from and much more exciting units to select with that ticket. We'll get into it in a second, but you also get right here 15 Dragonstones. And that's something that's pretty rare when it comes to Pilaf's Trove. Usually we don't get Dragonstones in the pack, so that in itself is a pretty solid value. And I'll show you guys exactly how good of a value that is. And then the rest of it, you know, it's okay. You got a bunch of medals, a bunch of trading items. Um, this Elder Kai and Supreme Kai medal is really clutch because you need those to awaken characters and uh, especially for people who are going to be summoning on the 3 year anniversary banners. You know, these will come in clutch. But let's go back real quick. So remember, 15 Dragon Stones, right? We're going to go to the shop. And of course, it's all in, uh, in uh, Canadian prices, but if you just, you know, adjust for US prices, it should work out similarly in terms of value. Here we go, 12 Dragon Stones cost $10 in the shop at regular price, right? So that's already $10 of value you're getting from, well, so that's 12 Dragon Stones. You're getting 15 Dragon Stones in this pack, so, you know, mathematically it works out to be about the same price as the beginner's pack for the Dragon Stones alone. Like, I think it's gonna be something like, you know, $12 or something like that versus $14 here, but essentially you're already getting the Dragon Stones that are worth like $10 to $12, and then you're getting the beginner's ticket on top of that for another two dollars. Let's just say all the other items are just bonuses, right? All the training items, all the medals and everything like that, those are just bonuses. Don't worry about those. You just get them as a free reward for buying the pack. But the Dragon Stones alone, twelve dollars, ticket, another two dollars. So for two dollars, what are you getting with the ticket? Um, we have to go into the news release here to see what the ticket actually brings us. And like I said, remember, in the past, beginner ticket was crap. Wouldn't recommend anyone get it. But what they did actually is turned it kind of into a, um, they kind of turned it into like, oh, actually, why don't we just go to barbershop? So they kind of turned it into a blue dragon stone, guys. So I'm going to go to treasure right here and then we can find the beginner's ticket. There we go. Okay, here we go. So the beginner ticket now actually gets you one of the OG God leads, 70% God leads. Or you can also get one of those, um, you know, leads before that, the ones you usually get with the redstone, like, you know, this Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Can we click on him? Yeah, we go. There we go. So you can get, like, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. You can get, you know, this Int Janemba. You can get the Tech Cell. And, of course, the Full Power Freezes down here as well. And Buhan, Physical Kid Boo. So if you guys watched my video about the Blue Stone and the Red Stone, you knew that the, you would know that the Red Stone can get you, like, the Kid Boo, the Full Power Frieza, Tech Cell. Um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, things like that. But this beginner ticket, being able to get us one of these god leads is something brand new. They turned it into a blue stone. This is what the blue stone used to get us. And basically for two extra dollars on top of the dragon stone value you're getting from the pack, you are getting a Super Vegito, uh, Super Gogeta, or Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. These are all amazing units, even though they've been updated. You know, there's the Ink Gogeta now versus the Strength Gogeta and stuff like that. But they're still awesome, awesome units, and running them on their type teams are still, there's, I mean, they're all pretty much all optimal, like uh, this one, like Tech, Super Saiyan 3 Go Tank, still optimal on Super Tech. This guy is still optimal on Super SDR. This guy is still optimal, super optimal, I like to say, on Super AGL. And yeah, it's just really, really good value, guys. Like, honestly, if you, unless you have all these guys rainbowed, you will find some value for this beginner ticket. For me, for example, I have a lot of these guys fully duped out, but I actually don't have a single copy of 
Oh, I just realized that they don't have, we don't have the, oh, okay, well, there's no Strength Omega. I thought Strength Omega would be part of this, but I guess he's not. So it's not quite the same as the Blue Stone. The Blue Stone still can get you a few extra units, but besides that, it gives you some of the main units from the Blue Stone that a lot of people are going for. And uh, for example, Vegito Blue, I mean, not Vegito Blue, Super Vegito. I don't have him duped out. I only have him with two dupes. So I might actually pick him up with the beginner ticket. But here's the thing, here's the thing, guys. Um, Super Vegito and Super Gogeta, so this guy and this guy, they are both going to be on the Vegito and Gogeta banners respectively. So Gogeta is going to be on the Gogeta banner, obviously, and then Vegito is going to be on the Vegito banner, of course. So uh, if you're gonna are going to pick up these this ticket, then I would, I, what I should do is buy the pack for the stones to use on the 3-year anniversary, but then hold off on spending the ticket until you know exactly what you pull on the banners because because chances are if you're spending any decent amount of stones you will be pulling a couple copies of the strength gogeta and the agl vegito so after you're done with your summons after you're done summoning for everything you got what you're happy with then come back here and spend that ticket and pick up whatever you want you know if you pick up a lot of copies of super vegito and super gogeta on their banners maybe you want to stay away from that then picking up a strength go or uh, super saiyan 3 go tanks rather my bad is a really good uh really good deal and obviously, if you guys want multiple copies of the Red Dragon Stone characters, then you can pick up a Super Saiyan 3 Goku here, and then also pick one up with the Free Dragon Stone we will be getting in a couple days. And um, I mean, I, I wouldn't recommend getting the Family Kamehameha guys, because they're not like amazing. They, they are really solid subs, especially after they are a Stream Z Awakened, but I, I just wouldn't recommend it, honestly. So, you know, and it, like I said, the Cell, the Frieza, the Kid Buu, Janemba, Family Kamehameha guys, and uh, Kamehameha guys. The Super Saiyan 3 Goku, they are all from the Red Dragon Stone, so unless you want two copies of those, then stay away from those and just stick to, you know, the God Leads. And if I was to rank the God Leads, I would definitely say Super Vegito number one. Of course, you can get him on the Vegito banner, but if you don't or you want more copies, then he is the number one choice here. Uh, Super Gogeta, probably number two, just because of the effective against all types, and uh, of course, like I said, still optimal on Super SDR. Um, number three would be Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and then, uh, yeah, Buhan would probably be number four on this list. Yeah, yeah, I'll go with that. So it would be Vegito, Gogeta, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and Buhan. Okay, so that's it for the video, guys. Like I said, um, I'm going to be picking, you know what, just for the purpose of this video, I will be buying it right now just to show you guys how serious I am, that I'm real with you guys. I don't tell you to do something if I'm not willing it to do it myself, so here we go. Buy that. Um, is it gonna show my information? Uh, no, it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna use our touch sensor here. Boom. And after it loads, come on. Moment. Oh, there we go. Payment successful. All right. So we bought, we just bought the pack. We got the stones. We got the ticket. We got all the training items and stuff that will you know be useful. Like I don't I didn't need them. I, mean, I didn't need the medals, but they will be useful eventually. So it's not like they're completely worthless. Um, but there you go guys, and like I said, I'm not gonna be spending my ticket right now I will hold on to it until I see what I get from the Vegito banner and uh, if I don't pick up enough Tickets, oh, it must be in the the gift box. I'm like, where's my damn ticket? Here we go. Here we go uh, There is our ticket at the bottom here. So I'm gonna accept all like I said uh, if I don't pick up enough Vegitos to rainbow him then I will pick up the last or maybe the two Vegitos. Maybe I just don't get a single AGL Vegito. I don't know. Chances are not high for that one, but maybe I don't, right? So let's say I don't get the Vegito. Then I will go to over here and pick up another Vegito. Um, if not, then maybe I'll pick up like another Goku so I can rainbow him. Or mm, what else? What else? What else can I get here? Oh, I can get another Frieza for sure. Um, I can get another Cell. I think I only have one Cell with no dupes in him, so that will be pretty useful for me. So. Anyways, anyways, guys, like I said, pack is super worth it. I just bought it in front of you, so I'm not lying here. I think it's 100% worth it. Um, if you are a brand new player, then that, that, you know, is willing to spend some money on the game. This is actually a really good value pack for you to pick up. It will help you a little bit in your journey through the game. And these characters, especially the Super Vegito, is very strong. So it will, you know, help clearing those events may, or make clearing those events a little bit easier for you guys. Anyways guys, that's it from me. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope you guys found it useful. Let me know in the comments down below if you are planning to pick up the blue pack or the beginners. <laughs> I was thinking blue stone and beginners pack. If, you're, if you are planning to pick up the beginners pack, 
uh, just like I did on camera right here. And uh, aside from that, hope you guys have an awesome day. If you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me and I helped you and you like what you see, you want to see more videos just like this, then hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. Alright, usually this is where I tell you guys to have a good day, but I already did, but I'm going to do it again because you can never hear it enough. So hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.